All right, so we've got this quiz that we're building and you can kind of, you know, the user can click next and see these different questions. We show some answers, uh, not, not the answer we want to show, but you know, that's what we'll start off with. I'll show you later how to, how to put answer, different answer choices for every question. Um, but for now, I just want to, let's see if we can make it so we can check the user's answer. Okay. And, and you know, for instance, um, you know, Montgomery, Alabama is the correct answer for this Rosa Parks question. Okay. So I'm going to go to the editor we, and, and, you know, remember this is the list viewer. So that's what we're going to deal with. Um, and so if I go to the blocks, um, you know, essentially we need to deal with when the list viewer does an item, you know, when the user clicks on the list viewer and, and this list viewer item click event actually has two event parameters. One tells you the actual text of the item they chose, you know, for instance, Montgomery, Alabama, and the other one shows them that tells you the index of, of what they, what they chose. Okay, and uh, remember we've got this variable, it's kind of hidden right now, but we've got this variable called answer list, which has the correct answers here. Um, so anyway, when they, when they choose the, the, the list viewer, we want to compare this item, which is going to be what they actually answered, but we want to compare it to the current answer. And we've got this index variable that we kind of you know, we always add one to it when we click next, but that index variable kind of tells us where we're at in the code. So really what we want to compare is what the user answers with one of these items in the list. And the way you're going to do it is you're just going to add an if statement um, and you're going to compare those two things. So you're going to, you're going to compare with an equals block and you're going to ask if the item the user chose, you know, for instance, Montgomery, Alabama, is that the same thing as the current answer or the current correct answer, right? And for that, we're going to use a list function called get. Okay, and we used it before, like, for instance, to, to show the picture and the question. But in this case, we're going to want to get from the list answer list. So I'll go over to variables and get a reference to answer list. And, um, and we don't want to get the first item. We want to get the indexed item. So if index is two, that means we're on Grace Hopper, three, Dorothy Vaughn. But we want to get the indexed item. Okay. So if we're on the first question and answer, then we'll get index will be one and we'll get, uh, you know, Montgomery, Alabama. Okay. So what do we want to do if that's true? Well, let's go back to our, to our code and, and we just need to add a label to we'll at least say kind of correct or, or incorrect. And I'm just going to put it, um, I'm going to move it right below the question label. And in the text, I'm just going to put some dashes and I'm going to call this, you know, the status label. So it'll tell us, either correct or, or incorrect. Okay. Um, and we'll worry about making it look good in a bit, but essentially if the answer is correct, what we're going to do is set the status label, um, to correct. Okay. And let's go ahead and, and make this an if else. So I can click on this blue mutator to add the else. And of course, if it's not the same, um, let's just say incorrect. Okay. We can add a bunch of bells and whistles to make it kind of cool or have sound effects or add a point or whatnot, um, later, but now let's just see if we're correctly, um, coding it so that the answers are checked correctly. Okay. So let me go back to the designer, click on preview. The first question shows up about Rosa. And what I want to happen is if I click Montgomery, it should say correct. If I click something else, it should say incorrect. So I'll click Montgomery. Well, it looks like it's working. What if I click COBOL? Okay, incorrect. In fact, all these other guys should be incorrect, but clicking Montgomery gets me the correct answer. So just, you know, you want to be very careful with testing. Okay, cool. It's working on the first question, but let's make sure it's working on the second question. So Grace Hopper drove the creation of which of the first coding languages 
what was that language called? Well, COBOL is the answer. Um, and notice we need to clean this up. This should be blank right now. But if I click on Montgomery, incorrect. Okay, that's good. But if I click on COBOL, correct. Okay, so I think things are working and we're correctly kind of scoring, or not scoring, but uh, checking to see if the user's answer is, is correct.